Let's get some clarity and reaction on this very issue. And we have in the studio Novan Aqua Hayford, who is the PR manager of Ghana Link. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Novan. George. Yeah. Novan, I know the reversal of the benchmark value reduction policy took effect on the 4th. Yes. So the first two days, my reporter... Richard Brightado was there and he came with this, you know, concerns that there were some sort of challenges. Uh, these were testimonies from, you know, agents and importers. Can you really uh, confirm that there were challenges with the system? I, I, there haven't been any challenges, um, uh, George. I, I think that we must get certain things very clear. There haven't been confusion. There haven't been challenges at the port. Now, prior to fourth, if you recall, I mean... I think somewhere last year, let me take you back a little bit, you know that the finance ministry mm -hmm. or the government had clearly indicated we were going to withdraw the benchmark values, exactly. which was 50% on goose, 30% on vehicles. And then, you know, you had even the AGI supporting that. Exactly. Because they feel that but Guta was, was not supporting. You know, of course, the import, important community had issues with, with that. Now, the finance ministry did indicate in the November budget for 2022 that government was still going to go ahead and redraw this. Now, it was to take effect on the 4th. Guidelines were issued to the uh, freight forwarding community. All other stakeholders knew that guidelines were issued. We at Gamma Lake, who are the managers of the Integrated Customs Management System, which is the ICOMS, made all the necessary arrangement and made provision for customs to be able to implement the new directives as it had been given by government or through the finance uh, ministry. So customs as an institution had been provisioned very well to be able to apply, you know, the new values exactly. or the reversal exactly. of the values as it is. That's the first thing. So this is what it meant. What it meant is that on the 4th, which is just Tuesday, yeah. if on Friday mm -hmm. 31st you had even received bill of payment mm -hmm. and when i say bill of payment it means that you had put in your boe into the system okay it had gone through it had gone to ctsb okay. it had done clar uh, classification and valuation for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and brought it back and you had accepted the payment. bill okay but you were not able to do the payment mm -hmm. what the directive meant is that on tuesday you were going to have challenges because the system was owned had been provisioned that we have reversed the values or, or we had taken away the discounts yeah, that existed exactly, in the exactly, system. Exactly. Now, let a lot of them show you the text messages or the, the messages that they got mm -hmm. on the system. The messages was very clear. It says the benchmark values had, been, uh, had not been applied. Please, contact customs. Mm -hmm. Contact customs. How is that a system... Doesn't uh, that uh, suggest that there was some sort of lack of education? Well, I think education had been issued because this document I have in front of me is what the guidelines for implementation of government policy directives on removal of reduction of values on import on selected items. Mm -hmm. This was clearly issued, you know, way before and was sent out. Education was done. So, I mean, really, uh, if there was lack of education, what I know and what I have always known the GRE to be doing all the time is to be engaging stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And this is something they are very good at. And so the stakeholders, the fruit forwarding community, were aware that this was going to happen. So this is the first point. If mm -hmm. you had not assembled, you're going to get that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. what, what are you supposed to do? All you needed to do was to do what we call post-entry. And go back to the system. Do a post-entry. And the, there will be a reassessment and the new values would have been given okay. you. Okay. Okay. Now, if there was another person who had received the bill of entry, but had not accepted it. Okay, okay. All you needed to do was to reject. Okay. And then it would have gone back. And then the reassessment would afresh. have been done. You, you, the reassessment would have been done by not starting afresh. All you needed to do was to reject. Okay. You, because that option is there. Okay. Uh, in, okay. In, in, it's provisioned in the system. And then reassessment would have been done for you. You didn't need to carry the bill of payment to want to, to accept and to want to go and make payment. Because people who tried to accept around that time, it still told them that, look, you, 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 this is the issue that you have. You need to contact customs. Mm -hmm. You, you, you get it. Yeah. Now, the third group was if you were now starting the process, mm -hmm. obviously, you were going to get the new assessed values okay, okay, as it should okay. be. So, clearly, George, mm -hmm. there haven't been any issues. The problem, again, the, which I know you're going to go to, the, the next one was... The deferment. Okay, the, another I think we have limited came. time because of yeah, the... Another no, mm -hmm. Let's another talk about the deferment. Yes, another deferment came on, on, on the same day. That mm -hmm. was around 4 p.m. 
And some people made payment before the deferment. What happens to their money? Okay, so all you needed to do was to quickly go and do another post entry. And you see, in this system, if you had overpaid, and this is something that has been happening, if mm -hmm. you had overpaid, all you needed to do was GRE was going to, you know, re, uh, reinvest uh, embest you through the systems that we have in place. Mm -hmm. That's why we have what we call e-wallet and all those things yeah. within this new system have been provisioned. Without in coming system. in physically to get it cash. Yeah. No, I mean, even yeah. if you had to get the cash, you needed to write to exactly. the customs and okay. they were going to, you know, deal with these issues. So mm -hmm. clearly, if you look at the process, George, there are no system issues. Because if the system had an issue, how would the system give you a message and ask you to contact? customs mm -hmm. you, you you get it I how would that, the system do that it is because of the provisions that have been done and so as of today what we know is that this free forwarding community is meeting with the finance minister mm -hmm. You understand that is importance, um, Guta, and all those people they are meeting with the finance minister mm -hmm. we are waiting if we have provisioned and customs as they are are able to you know adjust as and when they have to and so immediately they, they finish the meeting. If it is that there's going to be another deferment, why not? This mm -hmm. morning, we know that the new, uh, the, the reversal, mm -hmm. which to the 48 hours grace period is it's over. over. We are going back to the old system mm -hmm. as it should be. Okay. Okay. So that is what is happening at the port. So clearly there is no confusion. I'm sure your cameras, when they went to the long room, they never saw anybody with a placard. Or, <laughs> agitation uh, or all that. Any I know, right? agitation that, no, no, we won't pay, whatever. Okay. It's a policy issue, right, George. It's, it's a, a policy a, issue. It's a it has policy nothing, issue. To it has nothing to do with Ghana Link. It has nothing to do with the ICOM system. It's policy. It's even beyond the GRE themselves. That's one of the things you must know. It's a policy from central government. I think, I think moving forward, the education should be intensive. I think that will solve a lot of things. What and do you think? I, I know GRA yeah. is, is doing their best. Sure. We would also do our best in terms of the education. Okay. And, and however it goes, it's policy. And for us, we are implementers. Uh, the GRA are implementers. We provided the system. And everything is going on smoothly as it should. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nova. Nova and Aqua Hayford is a PRO manager for Ghana Link. We're discussing icons and issues relating to the implementation of the system. You know, I can get more news updates when you log on to our website, s3news.com. That's it for business. I'm just screening. Have a good afternoon.